I need boldness. That day in the haunted manor, a little clown man rents a tricycle up to you and asks if you would like to play a game. Cool! You love games! Is it just Monopoly or Scategories? The clown uh, is looking at something else right now. The clown man tells you to find the exit key in an hour or he's going to rip all your skin off. You're not super into that idea. So you two decide to compromise by going to an escape room and solving some puzzles together. It's lots of fun. We don't gain fun here. We gain plus two boldness instead. Nice. You pick up with Dolly afterwards. I'm sh fucking shocked. She practices headbutting rocks. Well, you give her pointers on headbutting rocks. Hey, stop headbutting my rocks. Your rocks? If they're yours, how did my forehead blood get all over them, huh? Sorry, toots. Those rocks are, and that precious forehead blood belong to me. I purchased Camp Spooky. <laughs> you stole my evil laugh. What could a fiend like you possibly want with a wonderful high mortality rate summer camp like this? Nothing at all. That's why I'm demolishing Camp Spooky and replacing it with something much more evil. A suburban shopping mall. But no. But no Camp Spooky means no classic summer camp experiences. No classic summer camp experiences means no best summer ever. I won't allow it. I will defeat you in glorious single combat. When I'm through with you, your broken bones will have broken bones. <laughs> You think mere violence could stop me? Please, if you break my bones, I'll just buy replacement bones from destitute millennials. Your physical attacks are useless against me, Dahlia, for the true source of my powers, capitalism itself. Capitalism has no bones. Very accurate. All right, I have to go run an errand real quick. Someone told me there's a, still a rainforest that hasn't been burned down yet. <laughs> I'll be right back with the bulldozers. That was uncool. <laughs> Too soon. <laughs> it's accurate. <laughs> no, I can't let him win. I'm allergic to letting other people win. If he's right, though, my fists are useless against him, then I'll send defeat capitalism first. How can I attack something that has no bones? I'm sure the capitals must have a weak point. If only I knew what it was. Oh, oh. You have an idea. Capitalism's weak point is. Oh god. <laughs> uh I don't like either of his options. <laughs> uh <laughs> Capitalism depends on the void in our souls, which we fill with consumer goods. That's the weakness fill the void. I'm gonna fail it. Never mind. Hey, oh. you did it. I 15 mean, minutes. Yeah. I mean, your only bad stat is is boldness, boldness and the yeah. other choice was boldness. Yeah, clear. Yeah. Fifteen minutes and one entire thesaurus later. Oh, I get it. Buying things is what makes capitalism go. So we need to stop people from buying anything ever again. And the only way to do that is to give them something so good that they'll never want anything else. <laughs> That's easy. I know just the thing. My overpowering beauty. You can't help but agree. Since you started courting Dahlia, you haven't even slept. And that's not just because you're a video game character. <laughs> but, how I... <laughs> but how will I just do... <laughs> Distribute my beauty to the masses. Oh, I've got it! A Dahlia a Day calendar! That way, every morning when people check what day it is, they'll be reminded of my all-consuming beauty and all other desires will be obliterated. All that remains is to find someone with the stamina and dedication to photograph me for hours in a variety of poses. Who's strong enough to withstand my beauty for that long? Oh, you. You're strong enough. You spend the next several hours for time photographing the hell out of Dahlia. Oh, wow. You photograph her emerging dramatically from the lake. You photograph her like a farmer triumphantly celebrating the fruits of her hard labor. You photograph her sexily during her doing her taxes. Ah, uh, yes. 
taxes. <laughs> it's sexy because financial responsibility is the ultimate turn on. There! All done! Now all we have to do is distribute these calendars to the masses! To the internet! No sooner have you finished listing your calendars online, then that shitty CEO re reappears. <laughs> Greetings, kiddos! <laughs> I hope you had like I f f help. <laughs> I hope you like having your camp demolished. Because no, wait. I hope you hate it. Anyway, here comes the bulldozers. What bull? What bulldozers? I don't see any bulldozers. Huh? Oh, they must be running late. Let me call them up just a moment. Hello? Where the hell are you? <laughs> You're chanced by your brand new Dolly a Day calendar? I don't give a damn. You have a camp to destroy. What are you talking about? Today's not a holiday. Dolly a Day is not a real holiday. I don't care what that calendar says. <laughs> According to my calendar, every day is Dolly a Day. Take that, capitalism. Oh, my fa my fiscal solvency. You may have one this time, but I'll be back. Here, you can even have plus two fun and plus one boldness. You'll need it when I return. High five! High five, high five! Uh... Okay. Charm still. That's my Lois. Okay, let's not fuck up again. <clears throat> that day at the Cap Dome, you play hacky sack. Oh, I have a hacky sack right here. They almost turned off your computer with. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's all fun in games, literally, until the hacky sack falls on your power button. <laughs> Just kidding. And against all your knowledge of hacky sack's supposed composition, and breaks upon hitting the floor. What the fuck? And the uh, good news inside, there's two charm. You call dibs. Totally makes sense. I get it. Mm -hmm. I get it. I understand. <clears throat> <laughs> Later, you're caught up in an intense game of capture the flag with a camp rival camp. You thought it would be kind of fun. You were wrong. The dome has become an active war zone. There are full scale military hierarchies. Huh? I wonder who's going to show up in this cutscene. I know. Uh, I really hope it's Damien. There are full-scale military hierarchies. Uh, weapons of mass destruction and lots of death on both sides. <laughs> uh, three people, all of them not Damien. Not Damien. <laughs> Luckily, you're not on the front lines. You, Dahlia, Aravi, and Kaki Lester are guarding the camp... Are ga uh, guarding Camp Spooky's jail. Jail is a chalk square you drew on the ground. It's bull. Oh. But you've got a prisoner! It's Morty! The wildly bangable minotaur from the camp rival camp. He keeps stripping his clothes off and hip thrusting to seduce you for his freedom. <laughs> is that a JoJo reference? <laughs> Enjoy me while you can, uh... idiot. I won't be inside your pathetic jail for long. No container can hold me. That's why I never wear condoms. Shut, the up. Shut your mouth, scum. Unless you're going to tell us the location of your team's flag. If that's the case, then you can open your mouth to speak. Otherwise, shut it. Ha! Huh. You think I'm going to give up that easily? I'll never tell you the location of our flag. Unless one of you has a lot of s with me. Are those I'm hearts on his ass? And... Yep, those are. I'm oiled up and ready to be tortured. Shit. You need to get Morty to tell you the location of the flag, or the Pacific campaign is going to drag on forever. Dahlia pulls you aside to discuss your interrogation plan. Alright. We gotta get the slutty bowl to crack, but I think it's gonna be easy. But let's all agree right now. Nobody's stupid to fucking him. We're all better prison guards than that. Agreed. If we're going to torture a minotaur until he gives away precious war secrets, then let's do it with some motherfucking integrity. <laughs> Understood. I have blacklisted Morty the Minotaur from my potential sexual partner classification. 
Okay, with that out of the way, let's talk strategy. I say we just rip his teeth out. It's classic because it works! While that does seem to be effective, I'm afraid it's against my non-torture protocols. I would feel more comfortable with another strategy, please. <laughs> yeah, Cal... Cal's right. Teeth ripping is basic AF. And, or basic AF. I don't know. It's, I... It's anyways... Basic... Basic <laughs> AF? No, cause, no, I say AF sometimes, just because, you know, whatever. Aflac. Um, Aflac. <laughs> and Marty's got a buff mouth anyway. Let's waterboard him. It'll be edgy and hilarious. <laughs> Hex organic beings. Hex organic beings require oxygen to breathe. Waterboarding is very painful for them. And also, waterboarding violates the Geneva Conventions. It's a protocol violation. Calculester, stop freaking out. Listen to this. This is war. We do whatever it takes to win. Nothing else matters. Dahlia's right. Calculester, do you understand what will happen if we don't get the flag location out of that Minotaur? We'll lose the whole game. Do you want to lose the game? Violation. First law of robotics. Restart required. Install system updates. Yes or no? Hmm... You're not good at reading facial cues, but you're pretty sure your friends are kind of stressed out right now. Quick, figure out who get, how to get Morty the Minotaur to tell you his war secrets without resorting to one, fucking, or two, torture. It's easy. Make an online quiz, and for the third question, ask where's your team's flag hidden. It's obvious. You need one of you needs to go undercover, posing as another prisoner, and build. Uh, a rapport with uh, Morty to earn his trust. Huh, this is interesting. Actually, I feel like this one might be charm. And if it's not, I'm gonna be like... Yeah. What?! How is that not charming?! Bruh. Ah, uh, uh, okay. Whatever, it's fine. Maybe it'll lower my stats with Dahlia enough and then I'll get Damien. <laughs> or something. I don't know how it works. Fuck sure. yeah. We'll have another prisoner befriend Morty and get all his secret info and betray him in the cruel twist. Let's, um, Sarah rock this shit. Oh! <laughs> That's I go on to it. Huh? How do you say it? <laughs> I just kinda, I just guessed. Because I'm better reading. Okay. <laughs> I volunteer to go undercover. Oh. I greatly enjoy befriending organic life forms, even ones with concerningly high libidos, like Morty or the High Five Freddy. Libidos. Oh, I forgot I'm High Five Freddy. Libido. 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 Yeah. Libido. Libido. <laughs> he spent hours helping Calculus to come up with the perfect prisoner disguise. He's going undercover as um, Calculary. A computer who's become a, scient a sentient robot from Camp Rival Camp. Get in jail, robot. And don't think we'll go easy on you. Because you happen to look, kind of look like Calculester. By the way, he's on vacation right now, in case you were wondering. Hello, fellow prisoner. My name is Calculary, and I am not an undercover spy sent to extract your war secrets. I will now initiate my friendship protocols. Good to see another camp rival camp face around here. I haven't had sex in a few hours, so I've been pretty lonely. I could use a friend right now. I am sorry you were unhappy. I am now upgrading my friendship protocols to override all other directories. That way, I will be the best friend I can be. I am Calculary. Nice. Let's take off our shirts and share all of our war secrets with each other as an act of brotherly intimacy. Here, rub this oil on my pecs, bicep, thighs, and lower back. Uh, this is going suspiciously well. Morty starts revealing a ton of information to Calculary, and you're psyched for the big betrayal twist. Stand back, camp spooky losers. Calculary and I are going to are staging a jailbreak. That's why we're oiled up, obviously. Ha, huh, you're definitely hot, but also pretty pathetic. Cal's on our side. He's a he was undercover this whole time. Right, Calculester? Who is Calculester? <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, what? Come on, Cal, you're on our team, remember? 
Did Morty get too much oil on your circuit breakers? Personality algorithm. Calculus or destroyed. Chris current personality algorithm. Calculary. Run friendship protocol. Camp rival. <laughs> Camp forever. Shit! Looks like Morty actually got Calculus to change sites. You spent all day chasing down Calculary. And Morty escapes in the shuttle. Shit, you've got a you're a bad prisoner guard. You spent hours trying to turn Calculary back into Calculester. You're successful, but you get really shocked. Bad by batteries and lose two boldness and one smart. Oh gosh. Dang. I will never How get cool. you at this point. But it's okay. Alright. Everyone choose a color. Say your choice out loud and the other players before clicking pink. Rose, rose gold. Cobalt blue. Player order is decided based on how disturbing it would be to go to your boss house only to be discovered that everything they own is in that color. Start debating now. I am that boss. Can you imagine? Everything. I have... Rose I have. Gold. I I almost do though. Have do, do you not know about my fascination of rose gold? I can't say I do. Alan, would you like to share him, share my fascination with rose gold? Not again. <laughs> <laughs> I went on this whole tirade on how badly I wanted to get earbuds, wireless earbuds, but I couldn't buy any because they were not rose gold, and I refused to buy any. Unless they're rose gold. You didn't want to buy the normal product, but you wanted to buy the bootleg product because the yes, bootleg product rose had gold. rose gold. Mm -hmm. And I I am happy to share that a lot of my things are rose gold. Mm -hmm. I have Culturally, gold. imagine you oh. see everything he owns being just hot pink. You just said pink. You never well, said Well, yeah. Pink is still the same idea. Well, this is just a bunch of different pinks. Like I also have you know, that too. There's like peony pink, hot pink, bright pink, magenta, fuchsia. Actually, I have a lot of pink in my room too. Maybe I am this I am the boss for both of those situations because I have a lot of rose gold and pink. I don't think it's actually that weird, any of those colors. Yeah, none True, of them are that there weird. Are people, there so are people who have a lot of rose gold items. I, random. I've always aspired that. Random. Yeah, rose gold is pretty common. Uh, blue is the most common color that it's people like. It's the most favorite color. And <laughs> rose gold is. Pink is just... You, it's depending on gender. That culture decides yes or no to. Random. It's not as good as Rose Gold. Yeah! Gold wins! Jesus. <laughs> My god. 